I made a post a few days ago about how people can actually overdose on nicotine, get so much nicotine that they make themselves really sick. And if they go too far, it's possible to take lethal doses of nicotine, especially when you're dealing with you know, liquid nicotine. Uh, that just overexposure on the skin could basically sometimes kill people. Uh, and then when it's absorbed through pouches where people are just taking so much that they can develop, uh, again, a lethal dose. And there was a debate that was started, and that's what this other video was covering about, oh, people saying, oh, no, you know, they take doses like this and, and you know, they haven't died. They may feel crummy all the time, but they haven't died. So, you know, that, that's not true that it's a lethal dose. Let's understand something. The longer and longer you use this product, you build up a tolerance to it. Now, tolerance has two effects. One is if you're trying to get the effect that you're looking for, whatever that effect is, you have to start increasing dose after a while. And you have to take more and more and more just to get whatever effect you were getting originally when you would take a very low dose. That's where you establish tolerance that you have to take more and more of the drug to get the effect you're looking for. But in that process, your body gets acclimated to having this poison in you. And then you're able to take more and more and more without, you know, dying from it on the spot. So when someone's saying, oh, I take that dose, it doesn't do this to me. It doesn't do anything like this to me. Yeah, because they have developed a tolerance to it. But giving that blanket advice that, no, anyone can take that dose, let's understand something. It's like, when, you know, if we go back 50 years, when people were taking up smoking, no one took a cigarette, a first puff on their cigarette one day and went, oh, wow, that feels good. And then down another 40 that same day and 40 a day, every day for the rest of their life. Are there people who took that first puff and coughed and gagged and got sick and felt terrible and threw up and had those effects? Oh, plenty of them who eventually were able to take a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And then they were smoking, you know, two packs a day, three packs a day. They could get up to four and five packs a day and they weren't dying on the spot. But if they tried it on day one or two or three or four, they they couldn't have taken it. They It would have made them so sick. They would have they would have stopped because of how lousy they were feeling. It'd be hard to get a lethal dose. Of nicotine, but you would get so much other stuff in there that would make you so sick, you would never get close to taking that nicotine content. Now, when someone is coming in and saying that, you know, they're they're gonna try a dose like people have been doing it for years have been doing and thinking like it's safe because those people who were doing it for years are dying from it. They're different people. Their body hasn't established tolerance. By not establishing tolerance, they don't have to take that much to feel what they want. And they can easily take too much to get them to a point that they are very sick and, again, reaching lethal dosages. Tolerance is a two-edged sword. It's, you have to use more and more and more to get what you want out of it. But it is causing all the other problems that go with establishing tolerance. And then eventually what tolerance does is it makes it where you can't get what you want out of it. No matter how much you take, it is not going to give you the feeling you were getting originally, but it's going to give you a lot of horrible feelings that go with being addicted to a substance and a substance that is toxic that is slowly causing trouble. It is affecting your circulatory system. It may be affecting your digestive system. It could be affecting just uh, on mental health. It's going to have major effects on that. It's just going to have a bunch of negatives, no positive, no positive. And you may still continue doing it because you're afraid of the withdrawal. Get through the withdrawal. If you've got yourself addicted, get yourself off this stuff. And... Once you do that, you'll never have to deal with how much is right, how much is too much, how much is too little. Why am I feeling so crummy when I'm taking the you know most I can take? You don't have to deal with any of that. 
once you quit, get it out of your system, detox yourself, and then you'll never deal with it again as long as you now make it stick to a personal commitment to never deliver nicotine again from any source.